Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are unaware of who I am, I am Ren and welcome to my channel. Anyways, today's video will probably be a bit shorter than the last three I've uploaded, but I still think it's a bit- Oh my god. <laughs> However, I think it's a fun topic to cover as I watched all of this unfold and thought that I could consolidate it and just post it as a video and make it digestible for everyone who might be interested but not rotting their brain out on TikTok. Small businesses, something we are often told to support as they are a backbone in America. However, there's some small businesses who have questionable practices and customer service that's about as helpful as a box of rocks from acting in a very unprofessional manner to completely blowing up at negative feedback for their own incompetence. Here's a small business that ruined their entire reputation thanks to poor management and sabotaging other small businesses. Locked shop bracelets were basically bracelets that were meant to stay on you and your partner until you die or until the bracelet was forcibly removed. They're meant to stay on as for as long as they can to signify a strong relationship. A TikTok shop associate had come across this brand and liked the concept, so Locked Shop sent her two bracelets for her and her husband in exchange for a review on her wedding anniversary. Okay, you gotta be good though when I put you down. Can't be loud. Okay. She received the product and even put one of the bracelets on her husband. However, when she went to put hers on, she noticed that the clasp was completely defective and not having the hole needed in it to put the bracelet on. She went to contact the company's customer service and that is where this entire debacle started. She emailed Lock Shop explaining that there was an issue with the clasp and how the product arrived fine. She just needed a new replacement clasp in order to properly review the product. Rather than being decent people, they just sent her a link to buy a replacement clasp. They were going to make her buy a whole new clasp because they sent a defective product. And again, this clasp was $20 originally, but they gave her a half off coupon. So it put the clasp at around $10 plus shipping. She got ignored in her emails with them. So she finally made the review, but made a negative one as they didn't send her a replacement clasp and, and were making her pay and we're going to- So she started emailing the locked shop account going back and forth with customer service saying, Look, I just need the replacement clasp. I want to make this review and everything like that. But they started ignoring her emails. So finally, she made a negative review because they just would not listen and send her a new clasp to replace the defective one that they sent out originally. So she posts the review letting people know and then the brand account for locked responds and just lies saying that she wanted to cancel the review so they just marked it as finished and that she never asked for a replacement class and so she responds with this they canceled the collab out of the kindness of their heart so let's rewind and i'll post all of the conversation that i had with this company so this is the first email that i sent locked i said hey there i got the lock set in and one went on fine but the other one doesn't seem to have a hole for the class and it won't go in would you be able to send a replacement class in which they responded hey renee no problem we offer replacement class you can access them here this is a link to their 20 dollars replacement class first of all they didn't even know that i was an affiliate at this point and got this product for free so they were asking seemingly a paying customer to replace a class that was faulty and didn't have a hole so then i responded and said hey there that only took ten dollars off am i understanding correctly that i'm paying ten dollars for a new class when the first one was defective that definitely doesn't seem like very good customer service i was expecting to be sent one free of charge they said hey renee could you send me your order number so i can take a look at this for you also can you send me pictures of the defective class so here's the email that i sent i sent them the order number and then i attached multiple photos but you can see in this photo there's no hole for the other end of the class to go through on the other class this was hollow and you could slide the other end in but this one for some reason was defective and it just was like a bump like it was like indented but there was no hole so you couldn't lock it in and so on august 12th i responded and said, I have a requirement to post content about this product, which I don't feel comfortable doing with this issue unresolved. I also got this product and hope to talk about my wedding anniversary, which was today. So now that opportunity is coming on. Can you let me know what the next steps are? I wanted them to send me a replacement class because I still wanted to use it. Our anniversary was on the 12th. And if you don't know how TikTok shop like affiliates work, you have 14 days to post the content. So I emailed them on the 8th and now it's the 12th. So five days had gone by and I was feeling pressure to get this resolved. They responded, hi Renee, I just marked your collaboration complete and you don't have to make a video anymore. I was just asking them to send a replacement class. They responded that on, they responded that on August 13th. I responded immediately because I didn't want them to cancel the collaboration. I said, so you're not going to send a replacement class. And then the same day I said, I just want to follow up. My husband already has his bracelet on. My class was the one that wasn't working. Can you please send a replacement class so that we can finish using the product? I'm also confused at the response I'm getting. I was very excited to show off the product and promote it, but it's very hard to get a resolution. I waited because I think there was a weekend in here. And then on August 19th, I emailed again and I said I wanted to follow up. I plan on speaking about the product on my account this week. I hope to report that your company resolved the issue, but it's been multiple emails that I've sent that have, that have not been responded to. My husband has his bracelet on and I'm unable to do mine. Can you send the replacement class? Asking again. My first email to your company was August 8th. And at this point, they still had not responded. In fact, I waited until September 6th to post a video about it because I was just frustrated at that point and honestly floored that that was the customer service that I was receiving. Um, I don't think anywhere in my emails I told them I wanted to cancel the collaboration. And even if they thought that based on my comment about how I was unsure what to do about the collaboration, um, I responded and told them I still wanted to do it and I needed them to send the class and they just ignored me. So I don't feel like their comment is 
I just don't know. I, I don't know. They said that that's not what happened, and I emailed them saying that I didn't want to do the collab, and I just don't believe that that's true. I don't. After that, the locked shop account calls her a Karen. However, that is just a very small portion of this story. I'm going to talk about another brand with a very similar business model who also has their product listed on the TikTok shop. Product that the locked shop brand felt so threatened by that they had to sabotage it with false reviews and lies. This brand was called Fabulove, a permanent bracelet company that sells a product that's pretty similar to locked shop. However, it's in a DIY kit, so you just do it yourself. You put the bracelet on yourself, it gives you pliers, everything you need. The owner of locked shop was actually the first two or three orders on Fabulove's TikTok shop. The owner of locked shop then went on to bend the clasp with the pliers that were given to them and broke the bracelet essentially and started leaving multiple negative reviews to stop people from buying any Fabulove products, leaving multiple reviews stating that the clasp had arrived broken. However, you can literally see the pliers that they used to bend it in the background of these images, making it very evident that the clasps were tam tampered with and did not arrive in that condition. The lock shop owner then proceeded to go to the Fabulove Amazon listing and did the same thing. However, they just reused the image and took it at a different angle to make it appear new. They also left the reviews on the same day that the product had arrived. In the review photo, you can see that the clasp looks intentionally bent with the review saying that the bracelet was too small and that their husband had broken it already. And my question is, if the bracelet was obviously too small before you put it on, why wouldn't you send it back for a refund rather than trying to put it on anyways? Like seriously, did they think this was believable? The clasp looks bent up intentionally as that doesn't look like an error that would make it past quality control. Like the clasp is demolished. There's no way you could bend it that much trying to get it on unless it was intentional or just really bad user error. Like being too rough or bending it too much with the pliers. I just do not believe it got ripped off the same day you received it and got that fucked up. And again, the reviewer states that they saw it was too small for their husband yet seemingly tried to fit it on anyways, trying to fit it on anyways over requesting a refund from customer service. It's definitely suspicious to break, bend, and then review all in the same day as the product was received. And I do want to say that these these products were obviously ordered by Locked Shop, as in the TikTok order, you can even see that it was ordered from Locked Shop. So Locked Shop was obviously the person that bought this. Even in the review with the censored name, you can still see that it just says Locked. So yeah. So not only does Locked Shop have abhorrent customer service, service, but they also tried to sabotage another small business. And all of this spiraled out of control over $10. Like, all of this could have been avoided had they just provided a replacement class, but they didn't. And now they're being exposed for their shitty behavior. After the whole Fabulove situation, they kind of went quiet and stopped responding to the situation. I have heard allegations of them doing the review thing to a few other small businesses with a similar business model. I haven't- I just haven't seen any, like, screenshots or proof of them, like, doing that verifiably, so I'm not going to say it was them. That is something that they have done allegedly, though. Anyway, video over that's all for now and if you would like to support me you can leave a comment or subscribe and if you would like to buy my next cup of coffee you can become a channel member by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button or subscribe to become a member on my patreon anyways i'm renton i'm tired and thank you for watching